Yo, what's up? This your boy Rico Suave coming straight out of Bucktown, North Carolina, and you're watching Chinese underground hip hop worldwide. Shit, y'all got my favorite beer in this motherfucker? <laughs> y'all professional. It's like I never been better. And you suckers never been worse. Clouds in the sky. Hello, Rico. Yo, how's it going? Fun. First, we want to know what is the coolest experience when you're performing in America? Oh, man. Okay. So, my coolest experience personally, and it's personal to me because I actually know the two gentlemen that hosted this event personally, um, I was at Creatively Crafted at Stafford's Public House in Savannah, Georgia. <clears throat> and when I went there, I did my performance and I saw that everybody was hyped, everybody was turned. I was like, man, dang, everybody's doing good tonight. So I wanted to take it a notch above. So what I did was I jumped on the bar and I started performing. Now, the best part of when I jumped on the bar was seeing my two friends, <laughs> Carlito Baby and Phil Beach's faces when I was on the bar. Boy, them boys was tight as fuck. That shit was so funny, man. So I was like, yeah, that 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 has to be like one of my best performing experiences in America. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that man had a mic in his motherfucking pocket pocket mic, boy. That's what I'm talking about. What? inspire you when you write your music? I mean, really a lot of things inspire me. I mean, just people I meet and talk to every day. I mean, just going outside and just feeling the wind blow against your skin and knowing that you're still living. I mean, that's an inspiration in itself. 
And another thing, when I was younger, man, my parents, they used to always try to have me dance and sing when I was young. So I guess it kind of just stuck with me through my life and it's something that I like to do. So what's your goal in your music career? Well, personally to me, ever since I was young, you know, a lot of people, they would tell me that, you know, doing music is not the way to go. It's not what you should do. And, you know, like, I would think to myself, man, as a kid, dang, maybe music's not what's for me. But then I felt something inside myself that said, continue to do it, continue to do it. So what I want to do, what my goal is, is to prove to myself that I can find success and a good, consistent living through music, no matter what others have to say. And that is my goal. Cool. So, can you share your motto to us? Well, I will share one of them. One motto is, I know my worth. Just because you don't, is not my problem.
motherfucker. I know y'all fingers is on fire. Like, I know y'all motherfucking fingers is on fire. Oh my goodness. Well, that is my time, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. Okay, the last question. What do you want to say to your family or your friends? First and foremost, I love you, mama. And we in China with it. <laughs> Let me stop. But no, man, I just want to say I love my family, man. Uh, my family, to be completely honest, has been one of the things that has kept me going. Like, it, it, it's crazy. It, it's, it, they make me so mad sometimes. Like, oh, I just want to kick them in their butt. But I love them, you know what I'm saying? And the only thing we can do is work together at becoming better and work together at helping each other become better. Because that's how we're going to find our success. And I want to tell my family I love them. And I'm going to put it on for us. <laughs> it's rather good to talk with you. Thank you, Rico Slavi. No, thank you. And once again, you are watching the Chinese underground hip hop worldwide. It's your boy Rico Suave coming from Bucktown, North Carolina, and I'm checking out. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up? This your boy Rico Suave coming straight out of Bucktown, North Carolina, and you are watching Chinese underground hip hop worldwide. Damn, y'all got a blunt roll for me and my favorite motherfucking beer. Y'all are professional as hell in this motherfucker. Okay, don't get that part. That <laughs> damn, we taking like five or six damn takes in this motherfucker. My blunt getting a little nigga. Let's get right. <laughs> What's up? This your boy Rico Suave coming straight out of Bucktown, North Carolina, and you are watching Chinese underground hip hop worldwide. Hello, Rico. <laughs> What's up? It smell like beef. Mm, fuck it. If I'ma eat it, I'ma eat it. It ain't that good. I'ma be for real with you. I mean. Taxes done. Get your taxes what? done. Get what? Your, I'll buy your 940s and your 941. Hold on. Flow. You know that I go beast mode, explode like it's pro 
pain. Got her in the feelings. Why go ask her for a risk? I give it to her. Now she got them jitters, nigga. Let's get it to her. Legit, sister G. Too legit to quit. Get it out the mud in the day. It can switch, but it won't stop me, no. I'm too hot right now, I swear. I'm too hot right now, I swear. I'm too hot right now. Legit, sister G. Too legit to quit. Get it out the mud. Showing up, cutting rappers to pieces like I'm packaging cold cuts. You can't handle that I'm the trauma. You need to come a gun, the one and only lyrical phenomenon. You better pray that I lie like it is Ramadan. Before you step in the octagon with the champion, cause I can run knowledge on you like it's a marathon. The flow you spitting generic like an automatron. See, I can change your whole perspective. He and these rappers alive like my name's Hannibal Lecter. And I am the bone collector. So if you step up to the mic, best believe I'm a check ya. Matter of fact, I'm a wreck ya. Like the Titanic selling seas in that 90s movie scene. So bow down to show respect to the one and only like I'm holding a scepter. Legit, is a G. Too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. Get it out the mud in the day. It can switch, but it won't stop me. No, I'm too hot right now. I swear, I'm too hot right now. I swear, I'm too hot right now. I bought your 940s and your 941. Woo! Hold on, how much money can you give me oh, back, son? Oh, I get you done. <laughs> oh, son. <laughs> Y'all boys, check me out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat, eat I'm losing my mind, working just to survive. Just over broke, that's why I'm screaming, fuck a job. Even though I got one, it's more than a nine to five. 